Theology of Terrain, inspired by the photography of Kathleen Robbins and Maude Schuler Clay. One, Delta Dogs. Dogs in the Delta, howling a depth of field and rows of spent cotton, rambling, wailing travelers, sniffing the forgotten praise hymns of ruined field churches, more like specks and ruts, the foreground, the background, part of a theology of terrain, both genuflection to color and black and white timelessness, abandoned bridges, leaky barns, rusted lives of faithful and forgotten owners, Different seasons where same is not the same, yet a foregone conclusion. The Delta brings them into its deepness across the mounds of the native dead. Their four-legged scope embraces the vastness of sky and soil. Moonlit howls across muddy gorges. The virility of swamp hunts. Smells of the earth's infections surround them. Delta dogs greet the dead always ready to mark a homemade headstone. Two, turn row. That sly thing had chased must have been a million blackbirds from the bean field to the sky in a flapping fervent. I was standing with Percy and the others near where we hang the Christmas deer, neither of us looking to the clouds. This wasn't our first hunt. When Percy saw the tail cross the turn row, he let go a yelp of pleasing, I knew we had them almost skinned. Percy and the pack took off. The music from their mouths pressed a symphony of chase across the field. Waiting for Percy's got him call, I went dead as a dry stalk. My daddy, a childhood memory, an apparition in khaki shorts with rounded white bare bow legs, standing in the skinning house, patting my bottom and saying, this won't hurt a bit, son. Percy and the pack were closing in. We would have caught that fox if I had stayed in the chase, just stayed in the chase, but everything now long gone, the blackbirds, the dogs, the fox, the beans in the field, nothing left but the turn row. It seemed like the distance was finally coming closer. Everything had gone to chase it here. The mystery of a horizon, infinity's mask, below my feet all the time in the deepest fertile dirt. Three. Cadillac. I caught the familiar sound, its engine in the distance, tracking in the ruts for me with its flaky faded paint, stained with the shit of a million geese that never go home again. Every Sunday of my youth, its hood ornament aligned like a rifle sight on a cotton cross church. Meanwhile, deep in this land flows a primordial promise, an ancient vibrancy spilling. When the window of the Cadillac would fog, I'd practice writing D-O-G. My daddy would get tickled at the awkwardly formed letters and say, that's good, son. He would sit me on his lap and let me steer the ruts home, tell me to watch for the pack coming out of the field. Four, Percy. Percy, Percy, is that you? Your music to my soul. Damn, boy, I thought I'd lost you. Lift it up and let it go, boy. Mark a good one, Percy. I got to tell you some things. This Delta is alive again, alive again. Foxes in the kudzu tangle, trains in the depot, barns purposed, bridges spanning, tractors sweeping, all of us in fields harvesting the vibrant blues of living. And the horizon, Percy, you don't have to chase it anymore. Wait on it to come to you like a man standing in a bean field, Percy, shading his eyes to a vision dogs all upon the Delta.